What's up my dudes, so today we're going to be talking about the Bulwark Avenger, this is the build that I am running, and it's on a test server, so everything's level 8, I really like that, because then it's kind of fair, um, and you know, it's not that full MK2, um, in Champion League, where, you know, these players are just getting godlikes every single time, I don't feel like that's accurate, so I'm going to show you ex exactly how powerful this bot is, and it's really good, I have one myself, you should probably look, take a look into buying it, because it's epic, even all the way up into Champion League. These are the bots I'm running, Ion Spectre, um, the Ares, Raygen, Raven, which actually did really good, and so did the Raygen, I was actually surprised about that. Um, and look at this hangar redesign, I'm really excited about that. And some people are saying, you know, they should be focusing on the internal mechanics of the game. I agree with that, but they have multiple sections in their company, and one of them is art and, and design, and... You know, you can't just, like, say, oh, they should be working on the internal mechanics, because I guarantee you, they are. And I'm excited about these new graphic updates. They're doing it very slowly, and I'm excited. So, yep, this is going to be Bork Avenger Gameplay. Make sure to like and subscribe, and see ya. We're going to run the Raven. All right, so this thing I've been noticing is a beast. Sometimes it gets a little bit, uh... It can be a little bit weak sometimes, but it's actually a beast. It's a very underrated bot, in my opinion. Some people don't really utilize it effectively. They utilize like a griffin, which it's not. It's a, it's a beacon rusher, all right? And it can get damage, which is surprising for a beacon rusher, you know? Usually, it's kind of just a throwaway bot. Uh, Ares, okay, we're going to watch out for him. He's going to activate his ability, and... <laughs> He's just wasting his ability at this point. I can just walk behind a wall. You gotta think, you know, you gotta always think two steps ahead in this game. Alright, he's got mole. <laughs> what is this build? And he's easily destroyed in just a couple of seconds. Thanks, buddy, for just blowing up behind me. <laughs> uh, another raven? What's up, friend? I'm gonna kill you. And, you know, he's just gonna start firing. And... Once we jump away, he's not going to be able to take too much damage to us. As you can see, we were taking damage. Oh, a little bit of lag. That's not good. Um, that Rhino shield is going to take a while to break down. And we get destroyed by Vortex. Support, again, is just getting wrecked. It's just wrecking everyone, but you got to wreck it in order to win. Uh, let's see. We're bringing out the Bulwark, and look at this DPS. Oh, I was just about to showcase it, because it can destroy from hundreds of meters away, and this guy's just wasting his ability. I don't know why he did that, like, I was going to melt him, but he could have just hid behind that little ledge. Whatever. We gotta watch out for the Hellburner, but he's dead. Goodbye. And Mender. Oh, and Ares, Ares, Ares. No. Ares are everywhere in Last Stand. It's annoying. I, I'm probably going to say that like 20 times in this video, but like, it's annoying. <laughs> Jeez, and that's a kill. You just look at that TPS, and I think there were more than one people. There was like a couple people on it at the same time, but like still, I was I was getting that damage. And hopefully, you know, he's going to... Is, is he using hack? Because didn't he literally just use that ability? I see how it is. And there we go. Double kill. Uh, Ares right there. Always gotta watch out for the Ares. And that Raiden <laughs> puts up that shield, and that literally puts a hitbox a little bit higher than him, so you, he takes like zero damage for just a couple seconds. Or not, just a couple seconds, like one second. And we're going to kill this Ares. That can actually be a strategy you can utilize on the Rage, just in case you're wondering. That Mender's about to die. And come on, don't get suppressed. Don't suppress me. And I'm not suppressed. Oh, dang, I didn't know he had his shield ready. Hopefully he hits that Mender. Come on, kill that Mender. I don't care. And bada bing, bada boom. He activates last stand and goes behind a wall. I was about to kill him, but whatever. Triple kill. Do you guys see this? And this is on the test server. Again, this is on the test server. So, like, he, these bots are actually balanced. This is not full MK2. This is this is a really good bot. You can easily get 400,000, 500,000 damage with this thing. 
easy. And I won myself, as I'm going to say a couple times in this video, but like, jeez, it's, it's powerful. It is a powerful bot. And that's our victory in just a couple minutes. This was a short round. I'm going to have some longer rounds, hopefully. Let's see. 700. Jesus. Ah, uh, and that's, that's a little bit of a bug. I played it on the test server before, but, like, not this exact build. And I've noticed that, like, sometimes when you don't get a running start, that weird jumpy thing just doesn't work. <laughs> you just kind of go straight up, which is never good. We're going to lock this guy down. Uh, yeah. Look at that. I got to say, the Halo is powerful, is powerful at locking down. And he's dead. I don't know what that... Is that kid running Avengers? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. And then we gotta watch out for that Dragoon Bulwark over there. And eventually once this bot dies, we're probably gonna run the Bulwark. Alright, so we just died. And it, <laughs> if you just saw that, like, my bot just disappeared as soon as it died. We're gonna be running the Ares, actually. I was thinking about doing the Bulwark, but then I noticed, like, three people with stealth, and I... The Bulwark would probably get destroyed in that situation. Oh, jeez, okay. And what's this invader gonna do? I, I'm I'm running up to him. I hope he doesn't jump. Ah, uh, and he jumps. Speak of the devil. As soon as he does that, he's gonna get destroyed. Even if he does suppress them, because that's still a ton of damage. And we're we're gonna run out our ability while he dies. Jeez, jeez. Okay, okay. He's locked. He's locked. And he's got last stand, of course. And, of course, our last stand. <laughs> this is what happens, guys. We, this is the future of War Robots, which is not... I know eventually they're going to nerf it. They better, because it, it's horrible. This is the horrible future of War Robots. Just a bunch of last stand. And we just disappeared. Oh, my God. It's so funny just watching them. Poof. It's called a magic trick, guys. It's War Robots magic. They just disappear. We're going to put out the bulwark... Oh, that Falcon. I don't know, that Falcon's probably going to get destroyed. And we get the kill, that Hades. Hades is powerful. Uh, And you just want to see this DPS. Like, look, this guy's walking away, and we're, we're just destroying him. And again, this is on the test server, so, like, no one's... Everyone has level 8, no one has MK2, and it's actually fair. Like, the people on the BR accounts are always flipping, always... You know, just going at it and getting these 2 million damage rounds. And then putting it in, it's like, oh yeah, this build is OP. But it's really not. We're going to reload. And reload. What's that guy's name? Hentai Heaven? Jesus. Guess he likes some hentai. I don't know if YouTube will like, I don't know, delete this video for inappropriate content. Dude, YouTube's weird, like, they will actually, they will do that for some people's videos, like, demonetize them just for saying random words. Yeah. Alright, we're gonna get, uh, I'm pretty sure at this point, it's a, it's a rampage. Rampage! The rampage, guys. Jeez. And this thing's melting another bulwark. His shield is no match, I just burnt it in, like, two seconds. We're gonna wait here again. This is sometimes what you just gotta do, you know. You, you do fire forever, and it's got like at least, I'm pretty sure, 15 20 seconds of firing, and then you just go back and reload. And this guy, even though he's healing and he's like, when you, you heal like that, you get like 66% suppression, I'm still was taking damage. Uh, that try and, uh, no. No, don't kill me, buddy. Don't kill me, buddy. Ah, oh, crap, he stole our kill. Now we're going to kill him. Yeah, I had to kill the Ares because I knew he was going to come around and bite me in the butt. So, and that's our fifth kill? Jesus. Five kills with this thing. Five kills. That's how powerful it is. Now, I'm not saying it's OP or anything. It's just the way that I'm playing it. Um, I've played it many times. I own this spot. Um, at level 10 Avengers and um, level 7 Bork. So, I know how to play it. Like, that's on my regular personal account, not on the test server. So, I know how to play it. Last stand. Oh, crap. 
Waylings are easy damage because they just stand up and then you destroy them. We're suppressed, so we're just going to kind of fire and then walk away. I don't really want to, you know, take that much damage. And that Ares, his shield is up, so I'm just going to walk out in front of it and hopefully last stand again. Oh, my God. Oh, crap. He got me a kill. Let's see. Savage Cabbage. <laughs> He's getting his names today. Hentai Heaven. Or Haven. I think it was Haven. But, like, in Savage Cabbage. You guys are weird. And we're taking huge damage. Okay, we're going we're gonna to get behind that Ares shield. thing is about the Ares is people think it's so OP. And it is. So it ends up for people say like, okay, in order for my team to survive, I'm going to have to kill that bot. And that's what I normally do. When I see the Ares, I'm like, okay, when it's not like, when its ability is done, I'm going to go destroy it. If it weren't for that, that bot would probably get godlikes upon godlikes. Come on, come on. Oh, and we get the kill. Four people were on it, so my chances of getting that kill weren't for that much, but the DPS just is there. Another Ares. What? What is going on? Infinite Ares, guys. It's just spamming Ares. And we're dead, and we disappear. Poof. This Ion Spectre does not get damage. No damage for him, sadly, because, like, it's just not powerful enough, I guess. Even after its boost, I've just been noticing that, I guess in the test server, it's very brawler friendly because everyone's just playing around and they want to brawl. They don't want to sit back and snipe. But, like, this bot does not do any damage in the test server at all. So I'm scared to kind of buy it, so I'm not. I'm not going to buy it. And it's over, and we're going to celebratory stealth jump. <laughs> I always celebrate, even if, like, another bot spams in. You, you gotta celebrate. Some people don't do that, because they're stupid. And let's see how much damage we get. I'm gonna guess... Uh, nine? 900,000? 1.1 million? Share my feedback. No, I'm good. 1.1 million? <laughs> Seven? Wait, nine kills? Jesus! And again, we're doing that Raven for the Beacon Rush. And let's see if we can get a little bit better of a jump than we did last time, because that was not a good jump. That's a good jump. And look, we can easily get all the way almost to center, which is, you know, for such a, for a bot with that much, you know, damage, it can, with that much um, potential for damage, two medium, two light weapons, that's good. That's very good. We're going to try not to get locked down. Oh, okay, we're good. We're good. But it's kind of a punch in the face because, you know, they, they made the griffin and then they're like, oh yeah, we're just going to make a bot that's much more powerful. I was not happy about that, but right now I am happy with Pixonic, um, how they've been rebalancing. And I'm overall happy with the game, but there's still some things that need to be fixed. This guy's got ECU and we're going to die and we disappear. Oh my god, that's just funny. That is funny as hell. And Hellburn is going to go down, and we're we're going to try and lock him. What the heck? We have two Coronas. Like, that should be locking extremely. And we don't even have to use our shield because no one's focusing on us. So there's no real reason. Oh, we're locked down. Nemesis. But yeah, that's a Nemesis. So we're going to try and hide from his Coronas because those can do damage, and I don't want to get it continuously locked down, you know? And this guy is screwed. He's... Yeah. Oh, come on, Falcon. Move out of the way. Move out of the way. I want your. I want the damage. Come on. Come on, bud. And then we are going to destroy this nemesis. Oh, we have a specter. Okay. <laughs> Hit my shields. Jesus. Uh, I'm not feeling too good about this. Yep, we're dead. We're dead. Uh, anti... Or not anti stealth. Lock that. Oh, my God. I'm... I cannot remember what it's called. Last stand is just... Jeez, powerful. And we are going to murder this bot. Oh, look at that. Look at that. That's what I'm talking about. And we didn't get the kill. Come on. Raging. Oh. All right, bud. You can, you can help me with the damage. I don't mind. Share the love. 
Oh, and that shock train. Jesus. Are you kidding me? He got the kill. The shock train got the kill. He was just waiting for us to destroy him so he could take the kill. That's that's just stupid. And we're in Beacon Rush, so kills don't even matter. <laughs> oh my god. Goodbye. Can I get an F in the chat for that, uh... I don't know what that was, like a blitz? <laughs> it's just like, nope. Alright, jeez, we can't log on. Alright. That Tempest, we're gonna... We activated his last stand, so he's kind of screwed now. Uh, let's get the kill, let's get the kill. Oh! Come on, someone else got it. We're gonna just waste our ammo. That's why we need a reload button. That's kind of boring sometimes. But I think when they do that, they're gonna need to nerf some of those weapons that have the um, manual reload. Because as soon as you do that, you know, you're... It's gonna be much more powerful. All kinetic weapons. So as you can see, this thing just... It's it's powerful. And this is on the test server, just in case you're wondering. So everything's level 8. So, you know, I'm, I want to give you guys a fair representation of how these bots work. Um, how good they are, so you know you can make decisions, not just say, oh yeah, this bot is OP and get it, even though it's full MK2, any any build would be full MK2, that's full MK2 would be overpowered, but truly, buy this bot, I have one, and you know, I'm pretty sure it's level 7 with level 10 Le Avengers, and it is powerful, and the upgrade time is really good, because those Avengers take like 2.5 days for level 10, I'm pretty sure less now after the update, and we're just trying not to get locked. And we are locked. Oh, jeez. Let's just make sure. Alright, that Aries is coming out. So we have some time to destroy this Ragin right there. Ragin, I think it's pronounced. And this guy sneaks around. So, oh well, he was going fast. I could not lock onto him. Come on, Aries. Come on, help me out. Help me out. Last stand activated. I'm going to try and hide. And he's going to come back around. Yep. Who would have guessed? Uh, Jesus. And we are dead. Alright. We still got some decent damage on that. Now it's time to deploy the regime. And we do not have anti-stealth. Oh, what the heck just happened? That ballista just comes out and he's like, What's up? <laughs> just drops on top of me. Dude, who's firing their... Oh my god, is that the ballista guy? Just spamming. Oh, alright. And even if he takes... Uh, even if he survives, that DOT is going to kill him. Look, right there. DOT effect. That DOT effect, I gotta... I gotta admit, is pretty powerful. Even though they did nerf it before it came out. Like, it's, it's still powerful. We gotta watch out for that Vortex Spectre. I'm gonna try and kill him. Oh, never mind. See, look at that. Like, I don't, I don't even think we hit all our shots because he was halfway behind the wall. But we still got damage. Um, yep, and he's good through it. Oh, crap. That guy's dead. I don't know why he's not moving. Again, double kill. I'm pretty sure that was from DOT, but I'm not certain. It's an interesting build. Arbless Trebuchet Leo. I don't know how effective it's going to be, but it, it could get damage. Not the way he's using it. Oh, crap, crap. And he's going to take massive amounts of damage because of that DOT. And we took we took him out. Oh, crap. Oh, we're going to have to heal. Jeez. I'm going to get behind here, and then I'm just going to heal up. Wait a sec. Yeah, I just want to hit that guy before I healed up. Alright. That healing on the Ragin is very powerful, and I cannot believe, like, our power. <laughs> we just restored tons of health. Triple kill. We stole that guy's kill. Sorry, Raven. <laughs> and this Galahad does not stand a chance. Jeez. Viper is actually really good. This doesn't showcase the bulwark as much, but as you can see, we did get damage at the start. You know, but the Viper really is showcased here. A little bit better for you. Um, And we're going to win the game. I'm not probably not going to be able to cap the beacon. It's whatever. 
And geez. Alright. Can we get the kill? I hope so. No, I don't think we did. Crap. Let's see how much damage we did. I think I got some decent amount of damage, and we did get a lot of damage from that bulwark. I know. 1.1, 1 .1, almost 1.2. Okay. Jeez.